Good. What's next? We're going to do this building. What about this component? Actually, you just need to make this one. What about the others? Just copy it. It is fixed to the wall in the same pattern. It's the same with the structure. Let's open the CAD floor plan. You'll find that bar. It needs to be positioned on top of this square in CAD. We use GRA to recognize multiple lines with this. We're going to grab these rectangles into Grahop. I'll hide the CAD for a moment, and then after I get it, I will do it. Let's multiply it by a face. We're going to find the center of this area of it. And then what? Put this noodles too. SYZ is broken down. Then find this work plane. After you get this work plane, we have three more points to find. That is, in the center of the area where it is found. And then here's a point. And then here a point. What about this point? You can find it with a rhinoceros. So how to find it with a rhinoceros? You can get this shell out. Then you can use this to find the center of its area. Then use this midpoint to find this point, and this point. Then right click to pick up a point. Pick it up. Then the other two points pick it up. Then I made a working plane for it as well. So what's next? We're going to base it on a monoplan, and the node diagrams. Let's take this model and use rhinoceros to make a, and what about this position? You need to see it. Look at the drawings and align it. Of an unmarried couple, be close. What about doing this build? We'd be better off setting up the work plane with this three point. We can give it a work plane like this. And then? On this work plane. Is it time to do this build? We can do this. Draw a rectangle directly in the top view. And then what about extrusion? We can extrude from this view. And when we do, we can do it parallel to the work plane. It's better to do it this way. You can see that this view and this view are both parallel to the x-axis. And when you're done squeezing out this thickness, what about when you're in the right place? We can give it a grouping. What about after the group? Then we use this. Interjection of surprise. Three points of orientation. Position it to that. It's elevated. You need to position yourself. Because of the positioning. I talk a lot. I won't repeat myself here. And then what happens when you're in position? We can disband the group for him. What happens when the group is disbanded? We can pick it up with this. Pick up one or all box selections. Then you can also use this linking symbol. As long as everything related to this, we can all add it from here. What about the pickup? You can use this geometric object to pick up. Polysurfaces can also be used here to pick up the, because geometric objects contain polysurfaces. And after you pick it up, it's best to group them with Grasho. And then, we've set a working plane here with three points, and then based on this work plane, moving to other work planes, and then this is how it's done. Of all places. Then find a color for it. Choose a color for it. And when this is done, we double click here to hide the Graco. We open CAD. Then we need to find this line. We can use this to hide in reverse. And what about this thread? Edit it too. What if CAD? Often it has these repeating lines ah. We're going to have to blow these up again and again. And then I'm gonna delete this. And then the CAD line has a lot of problems. Sometimes you may have to go over it again. Because it's faster to find the problem than it is to retrace it. Of course there is another way that you don't know if it has duplicates or not. Why don't you use this one first? Multiply it by one. It'll suggest that the line is self-intersecting. Then you can just make sure. What about this thread with the self-intersections? You can choose it to give it a remove. What about the line that forms the face? It's not at right angles. Then you copy the edge of this line. What about this wire? It's the right line. Then you give it a combination. Inside after picking up the class. And then what? What about this wall? You can also extrude it with these lines. And when the electronics team is done, we're gonna double click here. We're going to create some new layers. For example, glass. Aluminum walking table. And then we double click here to open the gas up. Then shell it into a different layer. You can group or not group. Then the glass is in the glass layer. Then aluminum line material we shell to aluminum line material coating and so on. What happens when the shells are finished? 
we can give it a color change. Let's say the glass we give it this color. Aluminum profiles we give it another color. Then it is showing the structure line. We can select this model point property. Turn off the structure line. What about this? It's good for us to observe the modeling. Observation model. And after the shells, there's a few more details. We can do it directly with Rhino. Then Rhino and Quan combined. Like this one. We can do it all by hand with Rhino pretty fast. But what about positioning? It's a little faster to use Hope. And then when to use Cialis. When do you use the Gassiper? There are no rules about that. You can do this with Rhino. You'll do it all with Rhino. You don't use Goop. But this one is all off up. It's actually pretty slow, huh? What's actually the fastest way to do it? Just like. One part with Rhino. One part uses the offhand pipe whichever is convenient. Or which one you're familiar with. Whichever one you want. Because it's convenient to be familiar with it. It's coming. If you don't familiarize yourself with it, you'll be slow. It would be inconvenient. It's for the next lesson. Let's go with this drawing. This model is made out of awe. It's okay to do it all in Rhino Ha. You don't need to use Widows.